Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug Delaney I'm with Charter One Realty. And every week we post up videos on neighborhoods in the Bluffton, Hilton Head, Beaufort County, Low Country area. Last week, I had to hurry up and get over to Savannah to get a hair appointment for Libby. And on the way, we took a little tour of Savannah. So I wanted to share that with you because one of the best things about living in Hilton Head is that you've got great day trips to go to. They're all about, whether it's Savannah or Charleston or throughout the Low Country. I wanted to share with you some different places in Savannah to go to. So I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, let's get started. Broughton Street is a great place to kind of center yourself, I think, and from there go about exploring some of the many different squares that are set out in Savannah. My people love to shop on Broughton Street and there are a lot of good restaurants. Okay, Lacatane, I think I'm pronouncing it right, but we always find ourselves in that store. All right, again on the right is the Flying Monk Noodle. I love that place. Okay, as we come up on Johnson Square, I want you to look at how many different ways people get around in Savannah. Savannah is such a cool, hip city. The Savannah College of Art and Design has been really good, and it's a great place to people watch and you meet all kinds. Let's head down Bryan Street to Ellis Square and City Market. You'll like it there. Okay, to the right is the Whitaker Street Parking Garage. Parking's tough around Savannah, so you need to check that out first. And traffic can be a little tough too, because you got one-way streets, and there's a lot of people visiting. We're gonna stay off River Street today. I'm coming back for another tour for that. I like going to this Wolfgang. That's for Pip and Stella. They love it there. And Vinny Van Gogo's is a great place to get pizza. The locals know it. There's usually a lot of activity going around here on West Congress and Ellis Square. There is a cool art gallery right down here to the right. Paula Dean's famous place is right up here, Lady and Sons to the left. Plan ahead and check out what's playing at the Lucas Theater. You won't regret it. Okay, you have to check out the Pink House. It's a great place to eat. There's a little planter's tavern downstairs there, you'll see. It's kind of spooky and fun to go to. Check it out. A 
Okay, we're gonna head back to Broughton Street. We're gonna cross over. Oh, there's Leopold's. Famous Stratton Leopold. If you have time, check out the Telfair Museum. There are some great restaurants down that way, down Liberty. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil was filmed at Madison Square and Forrest Gump over at Chippewa. Looks a little different now. There are docent-led tours in the beautiful cathedral. Juliet Gordon Lowe founded the Girl Scouts and she lived right there. You can take a tour. I'd usually go later in the afternoon. Ghost tours can be fun. Here's a few selections. Coming up on Flannery O'Connor's home. She was born in Savannah. It was a great American novelist. Okay, we're coming up on Clary's. It was in the Midnight of Garden of Good and Evil too, and it's got some good Southern food in there. I love the architecture in Savannah, it's just beautiful. And all of this is just right across the bridge. We just pop over to Savannah, have a bite to eat, come back home, or go enjoy a day. Okay, we're coming up on famous Forsyth Park. What a fun place to spend a day. One great option for a hotel is right here. It's called The Mansion. It's in the orange and it's got great artwork and it's close to downtown and it's really quite an experience. Please subscribe. Foresight Fountains right over there. Have you ever tried Mate? Here's a good place to check out. Okay, we need to take a left on Whitaker and head down to Cami and Salon 2010. Hey, can I stop by and get a Bull Street taco? Okay, we made it in time. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day. I know of a great place to rent. If you had a big family, maybe a couple families, you need some room, good parking, it's close to Savannah, it's close to Tybee, and it's right next door to Oat Little Wildlife Center. You can get a cheap little Uber from here and be downtown in a heartbeat. Oh, and that's a tidal pond. You can catch trout, flounder, and blue crab. <laughs>